from Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. Today we're here with Tom Thumb and Jamie McDowell. How are you guys doing? Good. Fantastic. Oh, well. Wow. So how did you guys meet and decide to start performing together? Um, well, we both used to be in a show called Tom Tom Crew, which was a, sort of an acrobatic circus kind of um, show. And uh, Jamie initially started in that show as an acrobat. So we were touring around for ages, uh, just doing our respective kind of doctrines. And then, um, yeah, Jamie was playing music on the side, and, and one day, actually in Edinburgh, one of the uh, Edinburgh shows afterwards, we just went up to an open mic and I did some drums for him, and it went very well, and yeah, it kind of progressed from there. But before that, we met in Adelaide in Australia, but Tom doesn't remember, because I wasn't significant enough. Yeah. You know, Not significant small time. enough. <laughs> no, I saw that show, the Tom Tom Crush, I saw it in Adelaide, uh, uh -huh. and I was just a spectator, and I had Tom signed my t-shirt. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, he has it. It's probably awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so how are the shows going so far? Yeah. Much better than we expected them to. We were expecting to play to, you know, less than 10 every night because we're a first new, new coming show in Edinburgh. Uh, but we're doing like 100 plus most nights. Yeah, so it's going really good. Killer, like, killer little spot as well. We're playing in, um, in the Belly Dancer in Underbelly. So it's like a really nice little tight, intimate room. Um, and I think it's perfect for how we want to kind of progress and how we're going with the show. How do you guys go about coming up with the material for your shows? Well, I've been writing for a long time by myself, so uh, most of the material has come from, from those years. But when Tom and I play them together, we do a lot of performance writing on the spot before the performances and the songs just evolve with every show. It's very you know, it's always different. Yeah, we didn't really have a, a structure as per se for the show. I mean, we had a lot of songs and uh, this is our first time, like our first foray in the theatre kind of setting with what Jamie and I do. So we were kind of uh, just going in blind really and we came up with most of the show on the train on the way up here. And uh, I mean, we had all the pieces, but just to fit it all together and make it a bit more entertaining and cohesive for, for people actually looking at us instead of looking at a bar. Is, uh, is, yeah, it was a great fun and a good challenge. And yeah, it so far worked. I think we fluked it pretty good. Cool. So you guys have both performed at the Fringe before. Mm -hmm. What do you like about performing at the Fringe? Fringe? Performing at the Fringe? Um, <laughs> I don't know, just a general vibe. We've got heaps of mates here. And, and I think Fringe is kind of one of those things that weasels out everybody that's just doing it for love because, you know, no one comes to the Fringe like, yeah, man, go to the Fringe, gonna be rich. You know, everyone's just there because they want to kind of enhance their art form and they want to tr sort of push it further. So, I mean, it's great because everyone has uh, a lot of common common mindset. You know, it's a lot of very passionate people concentrated into a city, into a month. So, it's a great place, like a melting pot of really uh, turbo creative people. Yeah, it's just great like that. Yeah, I think the best uh, theatre pieces in the world are in Edinburgh and, and the best performers and even the shows that I don't like, I still come away thinking that that's probably better than anything else I've ever seen. You know, so it's just full of people like people like Tom and I. So, <laughs> You're just amazing. <laughs> amazing performance. No, it's like Tom said. Now I'm just restating what you said. But it's full of people who are really committed to their art form, and that's you know really great to be here. So, what have you guys got planned after the Fringe? We're going to, straight after the Fringe, we're going to Germany. We're going to do some shows in a few cities there. Then we're coming back to London. We're doing the same show we're doing here on South Bank in London. And then after that, we've got a Switzerland tour. So we'll be around for about a month. We'll be around for September, you know, and then both of us are going home. Yeah. Tom's got some... Playing Madison Square Gardens. Yeah, and just after, after we play Wembley Stadium. So um, that's, yeah. that's in October. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've sold out the space station, actually. We're going to the space station. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just doing normal small gigs in pubs, probably. Everything we said <laughs> up to Madison Square Garden was true. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, you've got an album as well, don't you? Yes. What's your album called? It's called Thieves at the moment, but <laughs> yeah. it's supposed to moment. be called Pirates and Thieves, but our uh, the CD pressing company forgot to uh, write the title on it. So we've been writing, uh, handwriting all of the titles ourselves in a shiny gold pen because it's supposed to have a nice gold leaf emblem on it, but they uh, skipped that major detail. So we've been uh, 
penning some exclusive Edinburgh copies of our album. So yeah, Pirates and Thieves. Cool. Thank you very much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Thank you. Alison Michelle, you're watching Waffle TV.